Who's in that underlying college of diversity? All right, here we go. Number 10 is uh, John McCain was here. <laughs> oh, for one! <laughs> My friends, you don't seem to like me. It's not good. I'll invite you to one of my ten houses. It would be really cool. You'll see my smoking hot 60-year-old wife, who's 60 year old years younger than me. Hey! Don't look at that! That was awful. Number nine thing about Otterbein, three words, professional theater training. Yeah. Yes, Chick, you got to, you gotta be a theater guy. You're playing piano and everything, man. You should just walk around and like talk to people as if you were just and do it in song. Hey everybody, how's it going today? My name is Jake. I'm just gonna go up and eat some lunch. I wonder what's at the sushi bar. Oh man, it's a veggie roll, isn't that great? Then I'm gonna Okay, it's awful. Okay. <laughs> you just sing to each other. <laughs> no day but today to eat food. Area or go down to the uh, where am I doing like a barbershop quartet shit right now? <laughs> Boom. Play me out, Johnny. Da, 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 da. Okay. <laughs> Number eight thing um, about Otterbein is actually a list of people that have gone here. And if you guys have heard of them, you can applaud or snap. If you don't like them, like chat roulette, you can go next. So uh, first up we have from WKRP Cincinnati, a show from before you were born. Gordon Jump. I don't know if you guys have heard of that name. It, yeah, yeah. He was also in the Different Strokes episode where it was about child molesting. It was quite a moving, yeah, the one the bike shop. He was the creepy bike shop owner. He tried to molest Gary Coleman. Yeah, nah, okay, no child molesting jokes. Excellent. Okay. The guy from Police Academy, Sergeant Tackleberry, went here. It's too young. Yeah, I guess we got next. <laughs> With a, uh, some actor from Weeds went here. I don't know who it is, but you like that a lot. <laughs> Aaron Samuels from Mean Girls. And, uh, and actually from The Hangover, the bitchy girlfriend, Rachel Harris, went here. I'm going to tell her about this ovation, because I actually tweeted to her, I'm going to your own march. like, Ed Vaughn is a walking master class. <laughs> He's still there? I'll pass the news along. I'll link this to her page somehow. She likes to communicate with me. I don't know. <laughs> no, Evan. No, Guitar Boy. No, thank you. <laughs> She's going to hate me now, because I just impersonated her. Right? <laughs> Number seven thing about Otterbein is your football team. Okay, your women's soccer team. Wow. Should I even bother? The cheerleading team. But we have guys now. Guys that throw girls in the air. Oh well. Do you guys know the character Gay Robot? I only I slipped into that. What up, guys? I'm Gay Robot. Hey, Google me. I have great work. The Giants have great fourth quarter numbers. Up gay robot, it'll make you laugh after the show. <laughs> um, number six thing about Arvine it, tonight is college night at the old bag. <laughs> that doesn't sound right. <laughs> We're gonna break into some old chick's home and just party! <laughs> Why are you people doing that? It's college oh, night, God. Granny! Yeah! Bring the beer box! <laughs> <laughs> College girls and roofies you never get sold at the old bed. <laughs> it's like the witch from Wizard of Oz. I'll get you my town epsilon news and your little pledges too. <laughs> and you <laughs> How many can you can you count the pop culture references? It's above average for me. Um, <laughs> number five thing. If you guys ever do anything stupid, everyone finds out, finds out about it really quickly around here. Did you hear about the red beards? <laughs> they all hooked up with a chick, and she had a red beard too. It was weird. I think it's narcissism. <laughs> and they hooked up with the old bag. Oh yeah, because they said she was asking for it. Hey, run! Do you 
vaping your old bag. <laughs> Where's my whistle? <laughs> it's not working. Great whistle. <laughs> not... Socially conscious comedy, right? <laughs> what number three? Number three is if you guys can find a parking spot here, you know it's going to be a good day. <laughs> Campus police, they write you guys tickets for like whatever. Here's what I say you write them a ticket back. That's what I say. You see them writing you a ticket, you write them back a more expensive ticket, and then you take his basketball and you throw it at the cop. You're like, don't write, don't write, don't write me a ticket, dick. You're writing me a $30 ticket, I'm writing you a $100 ticket. I made a profit, bitch. Party on the old bag. <laughs> And I've heard also, like, some of the police, they'll, like, go undercover here. They'll dress up as students, yep. finding out where the parties are. You guys should dress up as cops. <laughs> Is that what you're going to do right now? Are you going to dress up as a cop? That's a good idea. <laughs> then I'll find all the drug contacts and get a gun. <laughs> then it'll be a rootin' shootin' good time at our mind. Wee-hoo! You'll send me to Sam. There, rabbit. All right. That's <laughs> so awful. Number two thing, Ben Otterbein, you're not capital. <laughs> Number one thing about Otterbein, Greek life. <laughs> End of list. All right, thank you guys.